You know, I, I never thought that I would cry to an episode of The Masked Singer, but last night, oh my gosh, we need to talk about this and more. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So last night was the season nine premiere of The Masked Singer, and it was, oh my God, I, I can't even explain how amazing this episode was. Now, a lot of people probably haven't seen the show yet, so this is your only spoiler warning. We're going to talk about who was revealed, who was under the masks, and so on and so forth. So this would be your time to jump off now, though I'm assuming that you're here, you probably already watched the episode or saw the reveals on our channel, and you're just ready to break down what we saw last night. So during the premiere of The Masked Singer, we got to see all of our best friends again, Ken, Jenny, Nicole, Robin, and of course, Nick, who did a fantastic job. We saw so many amazing things, including the brand new set. We saw the ding dong, leave it on bell, and we saw some amazing costumes. For the first episode, we saw Medusa, Gnome, and one of, probably one of my favorites, it was probably last night, was Mustang, which I can't, we'll, we'll talk about it in a second. They battled it out like crazy, and they had a lot of fun. Honestly, it was a lot of fun to finally see everyone back on set, singing and dancing. We, oh God, this is really hard to talk about. It's so hard to talk about. Prior to the episode, we knew that there was gonna be a legend on this show. You know, the commercials talked about it. You and I talked about it. We did a whole live stream, pre-show pre live stream, seven o'clock before the show started. And we had talked about how, you know, there's certain massive celebrities that you consider household names, major celebrities, people that like you would know. And I told you, it's gotta be someone who's either in their 70s or their 80s. But it turns out it was someone from their 90s. Because last night, the gnome who performed and had a lot of fun, didn't really move, but performed, was the first one to be revealed. And it was Dick Van Dyke. The Dick Van Dyke. 97, 97 years old. And Dick Van Dyke was singing and dancing on stage. I think there was one point you saw a girl grab a balloon. I believe that was his wife. Um, and um, I started, I, I, when the clue package was going on, I was like, screaming at my TV. If you actually followed me on Instagram at Joby Contino, you would have seen that I had my phone next to me and I was like, I, I think this is Dick Van Dyke. The singing voice, I did the pitch correct audio, and I was like, this is Dick Van Dyke. And it was Dick Van Dyke. And the reason why I'm emotional about it and um, at a loss of words is because like Dick Van Dyke was an idol to me. It's still an idol to me. You know, going back many, many years, and I mean like when I was a kid, I mean, who didn't watch Dick Van Dyke reruns? I wound up getting the DVDs and rewatched them over and over again. I still watch the Dick Van Dyke show, and my wife laughs about it because it's in black and white, though they have some color episodes. They colored them many, many years later. And this man, I, mean, I read his books, I've watched his musicals. I've watched every TV show, every movie. This guy is an inspiration. I even, in college, wrote a thesis paper about how the Dick Van Dyke is the re the show is the reason why every TV show sitcom that's filmed with three cameras is the way that it is. And I broke down the camera angles and the way things are laid out and the set and the way that they do everything. So to have him on the show was so emotional. Honestly, this is only one of two Dick Van Dyke uh, singers I have. This one I got like maybe three years ago. And then I have another one that he had sent out uh, to me. It actually has my name on it. Hey, Joey. That was like back in 2007, 2006 when he actually used to sign that stuff. Uh, now they're kind of more or less, this is a the printout ones. But to see him on there at 97 performing and singing and still doing what he loves. I mean, it was pure joy. And um, that's why I was crying. I mean, I was tweeting, tweeting at the Masked Singer, a mask verse, and uh, even sent him a message. And it's just, you know, it was just really emotional. Uh, 
you know, it's not every day that you get someone so beloved by every single person in the entire world. And this guy, I mean, he's gone through a lot. If you read his book, you know, he, he's endured a lot of issues in his life. And um, he's still happy as a clam. He looked great. He was smiling from ear to ear. So, yeah, okay. I, I think we can move on because I'm getting very emotional. <laughs> Uh, but then it came down to the Mustang and Medusa. And honestly, I thought the Mustang was going to carry over to the next episode. She was fantastic. Honestly, I was listening to them sing. And I mean, both are great. Don't get me wrong. But I was like, Mustang, come on. Then maybe at one point I was like, are they going to hit the bell? Are they going to ring the bell and maybe keep her on? But that's only one per group. Keep in mind that's every three episodes is considered a group. Uh, but in the end, the Mustang was revealed to be Sarah Evans, who did such a great job. I feel like we haven't heard from her in such a long time. And she rocked the stage. She truly, truly did. Leaving us with Medusa that is going on to next week's episode, which is Abba Night. And I'm so excited for Abba Night because I love Abba music. And I know the younger generations are like, what are you talking about? What's ABBA? Google it. You probably know the songs and you don't realize it truthfully. I mean, you probably do. And so Medusa left us with some clues because we had our clue packages. We also have pitch correct audio and we have the swag bag clue. So I figured let's go ahead and go over that stuff. As a reminder, usually on Fridays, I reveal someone, and since we only have one person, that means I have to reveal the Medusa. I will tell you, I already know who this is. Just going through the clue package last night and listening to the pitch correct audio, I can tell you, I know 100% who this is, but I won't tell you until tomorrow when we break down all the clues. So right now, let me just go ahead and uh, tell you what we know. So. She gave us a lot of clues when she was speaking. So she says, I grew up far from the spotlight, a dancer in the dark, and I never quite fit in. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I mean, look at me. But fitting in was never something I was worried about because I knew early on I was born to stand out. So I did my own thing and ignored everyone who wanted me to conform. Embracing my oddities, snakes and all, has taken me far. From the Super Bowl to this stage, that's right, technically I've been here before, but this time I'm here to compete, and The Masked Singer feels like the perfect stage for me. So someone that wasn't on The Masked Singer, but someone who's maybe had their song on here, and someone who performed at the Super Bowl. Visual clues, Buckingham Palace, big clue, true love tattoo, big clue, and then a chess piece. It's another clue right there. And then it was time for her swag bag, and she took out what actually looked to be a DVD, but I believe it was a CD. And it said 340 million sold. And after that, she says, sometimes success comes in the grayest of places. Oh my God, she's screaming at us and who it is. The younger generation probably don't know. Though it's not that, she's not that old. Like, I don't know. I feel like kids under 14 should know this person. I mean, she was really big in the mid thousands. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we do have Pitch Correct Audio, and a lot of you are maybe new to this channel, maybe have no idea what Pitch Correct Audio is, so let me explain it real quickly. Every single week we get these brand new clue packages, and in those clue packages are the real celebrities speaking. What they do is they record it in a vocal booth, and then from there they take the audio and they put it together. But Fox is smart, they're like, hey, you know what guys, we can't let people hear the real voice because if they do, they're gonna recognize it. And if they recognize it, then there's no fun in that. So they take the audio, they speed it up, pitch it up or pitch it down. That way you have no idea who it is. Now, maybe you don't know anything about me, but I'm an executive audio producer and reporter here out of New York City. It's my job to make audio sound good. So in the case of the Masked Singer, I can slow that down. I can pitch correct it. That way we can hear the real celebrity voice. And so I do that every week. And with that format and our guessing, we've gotten every single person right, except for two people, Jorge Garcia and then Dr. Drew. I know, I know, it's two. But out of nine seasons, I would say that's pretty darn good. And last season we went undefeated. So with that being said, I'm going to play the original audio they gave us. And then I'll play the pitch correct audio. So take a listen. I grew up far from the spotlight, a dancer in the dark, and I never quite fit in. 
I grew up far from the spotlight, a dancer in the dark, and I never quite fit in. I mean, look at me. But fitting in was never something I really worried about because I knew early on I was born to stand out. So I did my own thing and ignored anyone who wanted me to conform. Embracing my oddities, snakes and all, has taken me far. From the Super Bowl to this very stage. That's right. Technically, I've been here before. But this time, I'm here to compete. And Mass Singer feels like the perfect stage for me. Because honestly, look around. It doesn't get much weirder than this. Who do you think that is? I promise you, your guess is probably right. Because I've spoken to at least 100 people between last night's episode's airing and today. And about 75% of people are saying the same guess that I'm saying. So hopefully you're right as well. But I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And please make sure you are having the notification bell on because we put up a lot of videos and you don't want to miss tomorrow's reveal. Anyway, I'm Joey. Stay safe. See you later. Bye.